So I've gathered up most of the materials I think I need to make the suspension bridge. Um, I have this cereal box and I already cut out the side part. See so yeah, this part on the side. I cut that out on the other side. So I have that. I have four toilet paper. I have some little rubber bands, um, some twine, scissors, hole punch, and some tape. So you need to leave a little bit of room on both ends because that'll be where, you know, it'll go down and meet the, meet the ground. It's going to bend in this part, it's going to go down. But this part is going to be the suspension part. So I'm going to punch some holes here. And a little bit of space in between. Go. And now, see I have holes on this side but I want holes on the other side at the same place. So just about right across from where I have that one hole, another hole, across from this hole, do another hole, came out, drag it. So we're gonna take this little rubber band, put it through the hole, I did one already, so this is the other one. Do the hole, see? It's about on each side. Pull this side over. And then, this is the tricky part. See? See how that is? I stuck this part through that part. Maybe your mom or dad can help you with one and then maybe you can get the hang of it and do the rest. So I've got all the rubber bands looped through the holes. Um, a couple of the holes I made too close to the edge and they kind of broke through. So then I made another hole next to it. Um, that it should work. So now we're going to take these toilet paper rolls and cut a slit down two inches. So I'm going to measure two inches. See, there's the two. That's where we're going to measure. I got a pen to make a mark. Put the two at the top, so down there is about where that's about where we should cut to. And I'm going to do the same thing across on the other side. So we're going to have a slit on one side and a slit on the other side. I'm going to put some tape down on here to uh, be the river. But I don't want it to be wider than my piece of cardboard. So I've already cut some tape. So I'll put tape like here and here, and then this will be the river. I've got my river, the water, the blue tape here. And see, it's um, shorter. And the bridge the bridge will go over this water the next thing i have to do is tape down the towers these paper these uh these toilet paper rolls are going to be the towers that are going to hold it up so we got to tape these down and the slits my slit is right here has to kind of face 
face where the bridge is, okay? You don't want the slits like this. You want them to face the bridge. So I'm going to tape four down. They're going to be here and here and here and here, okay? I taped down the towers and I think they're pretty sturdy. This is the tricky part because I got to be sturdy. This is going to support the weight of the bridge because the suspension bridge means it's suspended, which means hanging. Something suspended, it hangs. Now we need some twine and we're going to cut the twine um, to hang on the bridge. And you want to cut pieces of twine, two pieces of twine, one for each side, and make them the length about twice as long as your piece of cardboard. I put the twine uh, into this tower. It's done to the slit on both sides, but not on the other side yet. So I did that on, on both sides, I put that there, but they didn't connect it to the other end. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to string it through those loops we made with the rubber bands on the cardboard. See how I'm doing it? I'm holding my finger inside the rubber band to open it up a little bit and then taking this, putting it through the rubber band and then I'm going to Pull it and I'm going to put it through each of these loops. Okay, so I've strung the twine through each side, the rubber bands, and then put it through the slits on both of these. Now you kind of pull it tight, and then I'm going to tape down these on each side. Make sure those are taped down because that's going to hold the, this is like the cable that suspends the bridge. That's going to hold it down, anchor it to the ground. Now this is taped down on each one. The string is taped down. So now this is still flying in the air sort of. So I have to put tape over each side here. So this is taped down here, side is taped down, this side is taped down. So now, now we can drive our car over and it's being, this is what's holding it up, these towers, it's suspending the bridge in air. I wonder how strong it is. We can do some experiments and see, will it hold this? It is holding that. Hmm. Let's see what you friends can do and how strong your bridges are. Please let me know. And we can work on it together during some of our small group time this week.